Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on another ServiceNow Toolbox. In this episode, I am pleased to bring you a good practice to do when you're using .get in your Glide record queries. And hopefully it is going to save you from heaps of trouble. Now, if you're new to Glide record, you might not know the difference between .get and .query. .query is what you do after you've added a bunch of queries to Glide records. You're using add query, add encoded query, add not null query, what have you, and then you're tapping it all off with query to actually do the query. Now that's good for getting you lots of records in the Glide record, but what if you already knew you only wanted one record and you knew exactly what that record is? In this example, we're gonna go to the sysuser table and we're gonna use .get with the sysid of the record that we wanna actually retrieve and we're gonna log out the first name and last name of that sysuser record. Let's run the script and we see that that has got us blah blah blah. So it went and it found one record and it returned us the results that we want. Now, if you use .get, it is critical that you wrap it in an if statement because whether or not .get returns anything, the rest of your script is just gonna keep on going. So let's see that in action. Okay, in this scenario, we have a specific user that we wanna update via script. So we've gone ahead and established a glide record called Bob and we're using bob.get, except you put a typo in the sys ID, and that ensures that we are not going to get a result. Now the rest of the script says, go ahead and set the title to man with a plan, and go ahead and set the employee number to 0001. Then go ahead and do the update. Now let's see what happens knowing that this is not gonna return what we want. Run the script. So you see the problem here, you said update, it said it inserted. Why did it do that? So that's a danger. You've instantiated a glide record variable and you've hit update. And now we know that if update doesn't find a record to update, it will insert. It's pretty trivial for just this lesson, but imagine if this was tied into some larger, more complex solution on your production system. So if our intent is to do something with records that we retrieved with .get, we should always wrap the .get in an if statement to control for the scenarios where we don't get results returned. In this example script, again, we have a glide record variable called Bob, and it's on the sysuser table, except in this case, we are wrapping the .get in an if statement. And that if statement says, if Bob.get, and whatever the text is, hopefully it's a valid sys ID for a record that actually exists, and if it is, it will go ahead and do the stuff you wanted it to update the title, update the employee number, and then go ahead and make that update to the database. But if it doesn't return a record, it's going to give us an info message, no record return on variable bot. Now, you craft your own output message there, make sure it's good and informative. This is just an example. Let's go see what this script does, and we're hoping that it returns the else because we know that there isn't a sysuser record with a sys ID of typo. And we see it's probably taking the else course and it's output the message that tells us that it did not find a record in that glide record query. Now this is a lesson that's absolutely necessary when you're doing .get on glide records, but in abstract, it's something you should always be thinking about with your code. What happens if the thing that I'm doing, the function that I'm running, it doesn't return the results that I expected? So you should always in the back of your head be thinking about ways that you can test for the outputs that you're expecting and either return that output or take a different path to warn something that your code isn't working quite properly. Hope you learned something on this one and I will see you on the next one. If you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedoric now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1,500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email picture here.